This lesson describes how to start the tool and provides a brief overview of the user's interface and basic techniques for working. To demonstrate main part of the Rapid Catalog, we will open a tutorial project from the Rapid Catalog tutorial working space. This is the standard toolbar which holds shortcuts to various options of the software. Selection toolbar holds shortcuts to selection features. View toolbar is responsible for view management. Main menu holds all of the features, options, and settings. IPC pages window will cover the structure of the catalog pages. Number of tabs on the left side of the software will help you to select needed parts and assemblies create and view illustrations, and find needed parts in several different ways. DPL table window will be used to configure your IPC page entries. 3D window will give you view, orientation, and positioning information of your product. This lesson describes how to create a new Rapid Catalog project. To create a new project, Go File, New Project. Here, select Needed Working Space and Proper Specification Component. Second step would be to import our geometry. For this, we will need to select Import Data option. In the Opened Rapid Generator window, we will need to import our configured import profile. Press Settings and Locate Parts Catalog Tutorial Import Profile. This profile is available out of the box in a specific folder. Save and select this profile. Then press import and locate the geometry of our oil pump. This is also available out of the box in the same folder as the input profile. After the import is complete, change the representation of the product to initial and save your project. In this lesson, we will cover IPC page management, DPL table entries, viewpoints, and projection type selection. First, we will activate IPC page and rename it. Now, we will change projection type to the orthographic and will save a specific viewpoint to this page. Now we will choose three main assemblies and will make these entries active on this IPC page. In this lesson, we will cover explosion, quick activation of the DPL table entries, and intermediate pages. To create an explosion, we will use a new IPC page and will configure the page geometry to our needs.
After selecting our parts, we need to press Explode Assemblies button. Set Explosion Type and specify direction and strength of the explosion. Now, in DPL table, we will make active entries that are visible and not deleted. To create an intermediate page, we will need to duplicate our main view page. Rename it and configure a new explosion using the set position option. After inverting our selection and deleting unwanted parts, we need to select our gasket case and apply new position for this part. We will do the same procedure for all of the present bolts. Now we will duplicate our intermediate page and name it to the faced plate view. Here we need to remove parts that were already exploded and apply a new explosion to the current assembly. Now we need to select our intermediate page and apply the intermediate feature to it. In this lesson we will create illustrations for our catalog. Activate main view page and go to the 2D preview tab. By activating Generate Callouts button, we are applying callout information for our illustrations. Then, by pressing Create to the image, we create our illustration. Using same procedure, we will create images for the rest of our pages.
In this lesson, we will publish our catalog. First, we will switch our Publish options to the HTML5 output. This will allow us to view our publication in modern browsers using the HTTP protocol. Now, we will preview our catalog and will check that pages and DPL table entries are configured properly. Since our preview is correct, we can proceed to publish our project. 